thing. You don't have to be mad to work here, but it helps. It does. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, now, the cold weather can wreak havoc on our skin, from making it dry and flaky to causing flare-ups of conditions such as dermatitis, eczema, all the hits. Mm, so how do we get back our glow? Skin doctor Amy Vias is here now with small changes that can make a huge difference. Yeah. Morning. Yeah, Tell morning. us all. You've got some great products for us. Got bargains some great as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. bargains. So wintertime is when we all start feeling that difference in our mm. skin. It's yeah. getting colder. <laughs> and then we're indoors with the heating on all yeah. day long. Um, and if you've got any dry skin conditions, naturally, it's going to get worse. But everyone's skin is going to feel drier. So particularly if you've got menopausal skin, you've got any eczema, dermatitis, stuff like that, you're going to flare at this time Heat of year. and cold, yeah. they, they are the worst thing yeah. yes. at the, this time of the year. Yeah. When and you go pain. outside in that bitter cold in the yeah. morning, you yeah. go into a house that's warmed up, yes. yeah. your skin don't know where it is. Exactly. No. And it's any change of season. There are certain tips that you can put in and you'll be absolutely fine. Perfect. So... The last two weeks, all I have seen in my clinic and all the queries that have come in have been the skin's getting really dry, it's mm. getting really irritated. Mm. That is all that has come through. And it's not just that you're getting dry, it's your normal skincare as well mm. that can be, um, that can just start to irritate you out of the blue. Well, when we talk about dry skin, yeah. the, the first thing I think is hydration. Yes. yes. Hydrate it, hydrate it. And, and actually physically hydrate Inside as, well. as well. Like, yeah. Yeah. Literally make sure you're drinking enough. Because you, because also the other thing that we all do during the winter is we drink loads more tea and coffee because it's comfort. Red exactly. wine. It's, it, that's what we do. So you Definitely. need to hydrate from the inside. You do, but remember but that if you're drinking more caffeine, yes. you're going to be peeing more. Yes. So you definitely want to make sure that you're still getting the water in. Herbal teas count. Oh, great. Um, I recommend a lot of my patients an anti-inflammatory, Ayurvedic um, anti-inflammatory tea with fennel seeds and cumin seeds, coriander seeds. Mm. So it really gives you all the antioxidant protection as well as the hydration that's really nice to So yeah, that's drink. the inside? That's mm. the inside. Let's talk the outside. What the we got? The outside. So first thing we want to do is make sure we're really moisturising effectively. So you want to make sure that you're choosing the right moisturiser for your skin. Mm -hmm. When we get to this time of year, you might just want to get rid of all other skincare products for two weeks and just use your moisturiser oh. because you'll find sometimes night creams, the actives like retinols can really start to irritate. I just had this chat skin. about retinol yes, this yes, morning because yes. I, so, I said I think I need to stop using my retinol. So you don't need to stop using between a couple of days to two weeks, just moisturise really well at night and then introduce that back in. So that's what you want to do and then when you introduce the retinol, any active ingredient, acids, things like that, mm. moisturise first, then put the retinol on top oh. and then moisturise again. So you've got a, a sandwich. sandwich of moisturiser yeah. with the retinol in the middle or the active that you're using in the middle and you'll be able to tolerate that a lot mm. better. So my normal skincare routine, mm -hmm. for example, is I will cleanse yep. with like a salicylic acid. Yeah, and then that's drying. Yeah, that's, which is very drying. But then I would hydrate with a serum. Yeah. Then I would put on a hyaluronic acid. Yeah. Then I would put on a moisturiser. Right. So you would say, do the hyaluronic acid. Yeah. Moisturise, yep. retinol moisturise. Yes, absolutely. Oh, so, I'm going to need to quit my job. How long are you in the bathroom for? A long while. I was about to say... I, and I still look like this. I literally wash my face and then I slather on. I go like a really heavy... Like, so, like I'm like swimming the channel. I'm like greasy So that potato. depends, right? You've got to make sure it's right for your skin type. So if you've got an oilier skin type, you want to go for something that is oil-free and non-comedogenic. Yes. And so when, if you course. need and if you require that extra moisture, mm -hmm. go for a thicker cream versus a lotion. I love but that. choose the right thing for your skin type because also you don't want to get breakouts and flare-ups yeah. from that. Well, these and are absolute bargains. These are amazing. Amazing. What have we so, got? first of all, we've got stuff for the shower. So, if we start off with the Aveeno product, mm -hmm. everything yes, that we've wash. got here is under £10. So, we've got the Aveeno Daily Moisturising Body Wash, mm -hmm. which is a really great moisturising thing that you can use in the shower. Really, really lovely. And um, 
you can use that Perfect. all over your body. Great for eczema prone skin as well. That is quite nice. And actually, then they clean. also do body creams as well. And one thing I say is when you get out of the shower, moisturize when your skin's still slightly damp. Mm -hmm. We've then got next to that the Cetaphil face and body moisturizing cream for dry and sensitive skin. And that is $8.99. Again, they've got um, cleansers as well that you can use on the face and also SPF 50s. All of these you can get for under £10. Which can I ask, is, is Cetaphil, is that from the same company that does CeraVe? Sem separate. Separate they company. Use, but they use the ingredient ceramides, right. which is like the mortar between the bricks of your skin cells, helps to lock in moisture. Okay. Um, so that's really important. And then don't forget about your lips. So yes. your lips are really, really important. We have a few options here. We have the Dr. Pawpaw Original Lip Balm, that's £3.99. Yes. We then have the Blistex Intensive Moisturiser, which is £2.69. So I really really love a cream lip product like this and you can layer that underneath your balm like the Dr. Pawpaw to yeah. really lock in that like moisture. Double yeah. yeah. And then we have the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast lip, yeah. which is £8. Oh, that's pounds. Very nice. This is that. very, very nice for chapped lips, but put the cream underneath, you'll be even better. Can I ask you a question, though? Does Do your lips then start to rely on having a lip mm. balm? Well, this is exactly why I say use the cream product more ah. and then lock in with one of these um, more balmy products. Got because it. the cream is going to actually intensively moisturise. The other ones are creating a barrier. Gotcha. And then finally, we have here the Eucerin Dry Skin Acute Lip Balm, which is also £6. So the final thing that we've got here, which I absolutely love and I recommend for everyone to get one of these is a little nightstand humidifier. Oh. So the one we've got here is Aroma nice Essence um, and it's 9 99 but you can get these all over the place. Did you still with water, maybe an essential water. oil if you want? Um, not an essential oil, I would say. Start off with just water sure. because it will humidify the air at night. We've always got the heating on. The skin really dries out mm. overnight. Mm -hmm. So having one of these on next to your bed especially if you've got things like eczema, really nice um, to help keep the skin hydrated. Okay. Really great for menopausal skin as well. Um, and then I would leave off the essential oils because sometimes when your skin is dry, it's also easily irritated. Yeah. So you just don't want to have that. Avoid things that are too fragrant. Everything you see here is very gentle, very basic. We don't want to have loads of alcohol, loads of fragrance, anything that can irritate the skin. We're just replenishing, hydrating the barrier, moisturizing it, and then locking that moisture in. Thank and then you. finish off with a rainbow diet. So you've got all your good, healthy, Antioxidants to or a chicken nugget. <laughs> well, <laughs> as we I learned don't know yesterday, how hydrating a chicken nugget. Is. Well, look, I think we're doing I all right. Even, yeah. I needed water after it. No, nah, we're doing all right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, thank you so much. Thank right. you thank so you. much. We're just going to make sure that that's <laughs> looked look after uh, later on. Uh, right in. Uh, <laughs>